Hey everybody, this is Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Andrew. Hello. Hi. How are you going? I, I'm doing well here, uh, and uh, congratulations on the new MVP. It's always it's always fun to, you know, besides, I just met you a few months ago at an event down in your country, and to be able to now congratulate you on getting your MVP, so it's a, uh, it's a, it's a big deal, so congrats. Yeah, it's an honor. <laughs> Well, for folks that don't know you, Andrew, who are you, where are you, and what do you do? Yeah, so uh, I'm Andrew O. Young. Uh, I am based in Adelaide in South Australia. Um, so I am a consultant, um, just just <laughs> pretty pretty uh, broad title. But yeah, I, I've done a fair amount of work through Modern Work, so Microsoft 365, uh, moving through things like SharePoint and Teams, and then uh, touching with Azure and then moving on to the Power Platform. So nowadays I'm focusing a bit more on Power Platform, a little bit of dynamics, which is scary at times. Mm. Um, but <laughs> uh, aside from that, um, I do run a user group here. So the Adelaide Microsoft IT Pro community, uh, a bit of a mouthful. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, we cover across many of the topics and services through Microsoft. So anything from Teams to Intune and all that jazz. Uh, we try to run that monthly with some guest speakers. Um, yeah, and I also try to keep a blog up to date with random announcements and changes and sometimes some of my woes and successes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, that's, I, I think you may have uh, answered the question we were talking before we started recording about, so you're an Intune MVP, or that's your added on. And obviously, like I know you from M365 world, I mean, all the rest of the collaboration stack. Um, and and so, well, somebody who does the, the bulk of their work in the, like the modern workplace space become an, uh, uh, you know, an Intune MVP, but if you're running a user group that is IT pro, that's traditionally, that's like the Intune crowd right there. And that, that label. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but the focus of the work started shifting from you know, emails and all that towards more device management and security. So I guess, yeah, the last 12 to 24 months has been a lot of just everything. So um, yeah, I guess Intune is one of those things I ended up taking command of because there was wasn't as many people doing it at the time. So, um, but yeah, the user group, I think it was originally like an SCCM or some mm -hmm. data center related group and there's been through some rebrands and changes um, and the co-host did have a few Intune related topics throughout the year. So I guess the, the MVP team thought that's more Intune geared um but yeah by heart i'm still very m365 <laughs> yeah well and again i said that's something that's it's interesting i mean microsoft they move the buckets around every once in a while but you're like i i write a lot about i i, I talk about collaboration productivity and ai and stuff that i've been doing for for years and years and uh you know the uh, and so it's great that they've it's become a major category they're pushing for people to come ai so there's you see increasingly uh, MVPs that suddenly become a dual and they're even, you know, uh, you know, people that have three areas of focus, so three separate awards because they're doing so much in, in those categories. So it shifts around, it moves around. There's opportunity to, it's like, it's, it's like going to MVP summit. It's, it's almost like, uh, uh, you know, going to a, a university and you're like, which electives do I want to take? So I can, I can go to my SharePoint sessions or I can go over here to these Azure sessions and, and so whatever, you know, you want to kind of build contact contacts around and build your network around, you can go to those sessions. So that's, that's a nice, Microsoft has really opened up um, with that for MVPs. Once you're in, in an area, you can expand your footprint. I'm going to spy to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. so, so what was your, what was your path to becoming an MVP? Like, what was the process? What did that look like for you? Yeah, so let's let's jump back. Was it 
almost seven years now. Um, so I attended my first Microsoft Ignite uh, in person. And it was the last one that was that big in Australia. So it was in the Gold Coast in 2017. Um, yeah, and I didn't really know what to expect. Um, had, a, had a friend say, hey, you should definitely go and yeah, try to try to get to this red party. I'm like, what does that even mean? So, um, so I got there. Um, so the pre-event day, it was like, oh, I don't know what to expect. Go in get given your fancy backpack, which, um, you know, it seems wear and tear now, but, um, yeah, they introduced us to a handful of MVPs and I was like, oh, what do these guys do? And, um, yeah, just getting introduced and discovering what they kind of do and their own jobs and for the community, the tech community itself. And it was like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. And then as the, the event progressed, it was, um, very eye-opening. I met more and more MVPs and just other tech enthusiasts, um, and we got along pretty well. Um, took some selfies. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I met this this guy called Ducks, I and mean, I'm sure everyone knows Ducks by now. Uh, if you've <laughs> attended any of these events, and it was like this guy's really cool. I really like him, and kind of just yeah. From then on, it was a uh, you know, what do I need to do to kind of be a yeah, one of these people um so I, I spoke to a couple of the more local based australian mvps and it's like what what, if, what did you do and how do i get there and they did mention something about um user groups or meetups which i was like what <laughs> uh so then i came back after the event to adelaide and started looking and there were a couple um so the one i'm running or co-running now is one of the ones that i joined at the time um so slowly I said, oh, well, yeah, let me, let me do something for this um, community. I'll, I'll join in and do some stuff. So they brought me on and started doing some you know, neat news feeds at the start of the sessions. And then um, Adam Fowler, who was one of the hosts at the time, he got a job at Microsoft. So he relinquished his MPP title and he didn't have the capacity to run the group anymore. So uh, that uh, yeah, he promoted me to <laughs> actual co-host. Um, so yeah, I've been running that alongside Brent Moffat, um, and we've been you know, trying to keep that as consistent as possible. So a lot of that is just you know, more news and announcements and changes. Um, occasionally, I'll do a session on something that might be interesting. Um, but yeah, a lot of, leading up to that as well, it was um, I did a couple of presentations, um, and I started the blocking process um, as well after attending at night, um, probably about a year after, I'd say, uh, which is roughly when I started you know, doing the contributions to the user group. So yeah, kind of hand in hand. Um, uh, and then the, I guess the sessions were kind of recorded and then the unprecedented times happened and um, we went to a <laughs> online only situation, um, which is, you know, it was, Good and bad. I mean, yeah, be more people because yeah, it's online. Everyone has got time, right? And there's um, more, more to do. There's more opportunities to speak and that that kind of stuff. Mm. I mean, that that was a real positive. But yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, a lot of camera off and mic off. So it's just, yeah, it's just talking yeah. to a screen, really, uh, right. which is still yeah, every now and then it's, it happens. And um, you know, I'd rather there be a crowd because there have been a couple of sessions where the, the room's been empty so it's a bit a little bit soul crushing but you're still you're still there doing your thing right um you gotta do what you do um uh lost yeah. my train of thought there <laughs> yeah I, no it's, it's funny i i always talked about it, so a long time ago 30 years ago I was had a band i was the lead singer for it we did a couple shows where we some gigs where you know, we got like the, the minimal charge. And then we earned a little off of anybody that came in. And we, a couple of times we found ourselves uh, with, uh, you know, the, the bar emptied out, people were outside smoking and there was nobody in the room and we, we had to continue playing. And we just decided, you know, we got to play for ourselves kind of, kind of things. And, mm -hmm. and I, sometimes it, that's what it feels like with the, you know, the, just the pure online, like there's no interaction um, depending on the technology you're using, and it's different, different tools, different times, you know, it's sometimes when you're presenting and you, it's great to have a second person there who can see if there's questions that are coming through, through the Q and a module or within the chat or something and doing that, but it's, it's frustrating. It's, it's hard to do that. I've done some live audiences where there was no comment. There was no feedback. And I just thought, wow, I, I tanked this thing. There was nothing. Mm -hmm. And then I got strong numbers on feedback, like, <laughs> but 
I definitely prefer the the in person, you know, having that interaction. I would much rather have an an hour of content and then get through 20, 30 minutes of that because of the different questions and maybe take it in mm -hmm. a different direction if that's what you know the audience is looking for. If we could have a really, you know, in-depth conversation down one path of of that of my planned content, I look at that as much more of a success than Hey, in 60 minutes, I got through 60 minutes of slides and, and, and demos. I mean, it's just, I'd rather have the interaction. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, anyway, yeah. Well, it's yeah, like the events that in the conferences you go to, like when you're an attendee, like you see how they control the room and all the how the audience reacts to things but if you, yeah, there's no one there that's really it's really hard <laughs> yeah it, yeah well it can be yeah it, again it's it's uh and and it's not like everything has to go well it's even even when i've had you know presentations or sections of a presentation where i haven't you know it's something that's new or i don't feel like i have many uh, of the answers that i know people are going to ask about that and sometimes you just it's good just to collect like that's a great question and let's let me follow up let me go and find those things out or i don't know or does anybody else know here so there's ways of presenting that where again you don't have to know everything about you know 100 percent of the products that you're talking about um but share what you know and capture the questions and uh, and so i iterate on some of the, some of the sessions that i do regularly it's might have the same title, but it's different each time because I'm adding to it. I'm making changes to it every single time. Yeah, uh, even one of the recent um, events we were just at, um, kind of like a running joke where I oh, will take we'll take our fine, we'll get back to you, and we'll circle back to that. Yeah, yeah, things like that. But um, I mean, yes, uh, the, it does mean a lot when you do follow up with those questions after the event um, to the to people asking them. Um, but yeah, speaking of yeah, the online times, yeah, uh, got sort of, well, I reached out to um, the team running the M365 May at the time. So mm -hmm. it was guys in Melbourne. So it was Lorian, Megan and Rebecca. So they were running um, a large show for the whole month of May mm -hmm. uh, with you know, presenters from everywhere, really. Um, so we got, got in on that. So that was, that was nice. Uh, and then finally, yeah, last last uh, year in August, at the Digital Workplace Conference in Melbourne, got to mm -hmm. meet um, you know all these MVPs I'd only seen online before. Uh, and yeah, one of the guys like Daryl Webster from New Zealand, yeah. um, got a got lunch with him, and we had a sit down and we talked about the whole MVP process and you know, submissions and stuff like that. So it was a it was a good um, sanity check to you know, make sure that I am on the right track to doing things that would be considered, you know, um, worthy of an award. So, um, yeah, based on that, I guess it was a good advice. <laughs> well, that's, that, that's something I, you know, if you've not already, I mean, I know, I realize you've been an MVP for an entire day, day and a half, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> and, and so, but it's, you know, just be prepared where people are going to come and start asking those questions. And, and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of resources that are out there, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's, you know, probably the most common thing, you know, when, when I was a brand new MVP, it was, you know, the first couple months was, you know, people saying, it's like, well, what, what was the process? What was that like? What, what do you recommend? I'm interested in finding out more about that. And so, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a, it, it, it's a black box there, but there's certainly things that you can do to get yourself organized and to, to even think about, so, you know, what, what is a contribution? Like, what am I doing for the community? In fact, I just had a conversation today. I've been doing something, uh, kind of some mentoring for the last year. I completely forgot to add that to my contributions. Uh, the fact that I've been doing something for the community on a monthly scheduled basis with results. Uh, and I've not, I didn't think of that. It was just something that I was doing to help some people at, you know, within the community, but it's all focused on, on this. It's all the technology related. Um, and, and so I, you know, e even as long as I've been doing it for 12 years now, and I need to remember like uh, to capture all of these activities and, and add it to those contributions. And why does that matter for, for folks that are MVP? Because we want to be renewed as an MVP. So you, 
it's a reward for what you did the last year, but you've got to keep doing stuff to get re-awarded. But uh, yeah, anyway, you'll get tons more opportunities. So I'm excited for you. It's going to be uh, yeah. a bit of drinking from the fire hose, uh, especially all of the NDA calls that you uh, just remember, you don't have to say yes to everything. They were all at three three thirty a.m. I don't know how. Uh, uh, yes, to well, yeah. Well, some of them, some some of them yeah. have the, the the different times, and so they have their their APAC yeah. schedule. Not yeah. all of them, but uh, but yeah. Um, thankfully, yeah. it used to be with most of those calls. If you weren't on it, there were no recordings. Like that, that was it. Yeah. But they're getting much better about that now. So at least you can watch the recordings. Mm. Yeah. but it, yeah, it, it cool. does hurt when you see the ones that you might be able to weigh in on or contribute to but it's like uh, yeah don't know about that time <laughs> yeah just to do some time shifting just spend a couple of weeks and just uh you know sleep during the day and <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah i'm sure work 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 all of that <laughs> yeah 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 well well very cool so um so what are your uh, so we talked a little bit about your focus area stuff but what are what are you excited about what technologies which which products which things are you like most excited about right now what are you writing and talking about God, so, well, just coming out of christmas so nothing much um <laughs> uh but yeah coming on the tail end of last year everybody's you know, flavor of the month was uh this co-pilot and uh, ai and Copilot for Copilot and stuff, <laughs> and Copilot for Little C. Um, but yeah, it's that's pretty cool. Um, there's heaps of like stuff going out there, but it's all still very you know, gated by you need X number of this and Y number of that. So until I get some hands on, which I imagine we do get access to something. Yes, in- that, that so you need to look into that. They there is an MVP access to Copilot. So for M three six five Copilot. I um, just hit up the support team to get access to the, the Microsoft Teams channels, and they did a typo on my uh, my display name. But um, I'll show. I'll get back in, and uh, I'll, I'll poke them about that. <laughs> yeah, um, ping, ping them when we're <laughs> done here. Make sure that you for the person to add you into this uh, to add you in the, in the copilot. Um, I can give you that name when we wrap. I don't want to inundate her with other people reaching out to her that mm. aren't MVPs. Um, so I'll we, yeah, we can talk yeah. when, when the recording stops. But. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely something. Yeah. There's a lot of other perks, you know, access that you'll get into, get into things. So. Yeah. I've been running throughout this morning, which is why I was running late to join us. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, in terms of like the yeah, excitement, yeah, anything AI co-pilot um, is really the flavor of the month. Um, still, you know, it's, it does rely on having your data in M365 up to scratch and secure and govern and all that. So um, yeah, it's it's full circle, right? There's <laughs> no escaping yeah. from SharePoint. Um, and I guess, yeah, I, I haven't really done a heap of Intune stuff since changing gigs, so I might have to swing back and do some more uh, <laughs> updates on that. Um, but I'm sure my uh, user group contributions will keep that afloat. Yeah. Well, very cool. Well. Uh, for folks that want to reach out to you, connect with you, uh, where are you most active in the social platforms? Yeah, um, so I'm on LinkedIn. Um, I'm also on Twitter slash X or whatever you want to call it these days. Um, but LinkedIn is probably the best, uh, best source. So I'm sure you'll have the show notes, including the links. And all I do. I, and I'll, I'll send through all the links anyway. But, yeah, um, I'll, LinkedIn's I'll, probably the best. I'll include all the links uh, to, to everything that I find and I'll put it out on, it'll be on the blog post, out on YouTube and out on the podcast as well. So if people want to reach out to Andrew, please do. It's always, it's always good to get uh, the perspectives of the, uh, of the newbies uh, into the program uh, because yeah, in, in fact, since you'll get the latest of all the things to sign on to, um, all the different resources, you know, Microsoft is good with that to uh, make sure that you're set up, you're aware of all the benefits. The new site has a section, I don't know if you've explored that extensively, yeah. but that walks through all the benefits and the things that are there. Um, but uh, like I said, uh, drinking from the fire hose the next couple months. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a bigger fire hose now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Andrew, Hey, it was great uh, connecting with you again. Hopefully I, I get to see you uh, once or twice later this year. So I think more, yeah, more definitely. travels that are going to be happening. Mm-hmm. So uh, wish you well, hope to see you at MVP summit, but I understand 
um, the time and, and cost of coming from abroad, but, uh, you know, hope to see you in March, but otherwise say, thanks a lot for, uh, for sharing some of your background with this audience. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me.